Hi everybody. I wanted to record a little bit of a, another low key video and today I want to show you how to make your own oil pulling oil and how to make a body scrub. And so you're going to need a few really simple ingredients and material. Uh, the first thing you're going to need, need is some kind of carrier oil. I'm using sunflower oil right now. So this is what I have um, in this jar. I would recommend organic as much as you can. You're gonna need, um, I'm using essential oils and please do check online, do check with your doctor that these essential oils are safe for you to use because some of them are contraindicated. So do your own research, if, especially if you're pregnant or if you have health issues. But what I'm using today for the oil pulling, I'm gonna use some spare mint, clove, and then some cinnamon bark. Um, all of these because they have some antibacterial, antifungal properties and they're really nice for cleansing and oil pulling. And um, I'm going to do that in this amber glass bottle, which has just a simple lid. And this is about a cup. I forget how many ounces because it doesn't say on the bottle, but that's about a cup of liquid. So that's, a, that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to use this little funnel too um to pour the oil into the bottle and then for the scrub i'm using just basic organic cane sugar i'm going to use the same oil i'm going to use uh i've picked so it's spring right now and there's a need for lymphatic support which is also why a salt scrub is really nice to do in the spring and so i've picked eucalyptus and grapefruit, which are two great oils to use in the spring. They're really um, supportive for the lungs and for helping move um, any stagnation in the body. And I've decided to round that up with a little bit of lavender. So these are, these are the oils that I have. I'm gonna start with a salt scrub. And in order to do that, cause I <laughs> have this massive jar of oil that it's a long story but it ended up in a jar and i'm afraid i'm gonna make a mess when i pour it in this tiny little um oh this is what i'm gonna make this salt scrub in by the way this tiny little amber bottle and that's a uh, um container and that jar and that's about a half cup um full of whatever you're gonna use so what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna try to be smart about it. I'm gonna pour my oil in this so that then I can pour the oil in this. So I'm gonna do the salt scrub first and you'll see it's super easy. So this is just for me technical, you know, support. And I'm already making a mess. <laughs> I've got oil all over my table. Oh, this is gonna be really fun, okay. I'm gonna need to pause this because I need to go get a sponge. Okay, I got a slightly bigger funnel, so if you're <laughs> also working with an insane amount of insane container of oil, you're, I would recommend that you get a bigger funnel. Okay, we're back on track. So, the salt scrub is extraordinarily easy. And I'm going to lower my camera a little bit so you can see me. Try to... Keep it straight, okay. So this is the jar that I have, about a cup, a half cup worth of whatever you're gonna put in it. All I'm gonna do is pour the salt in, the, the sugar in there. And you could actually use salt and you could use half sugar and half salt. So right now, this jar is about three quarter full, is what I would say. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of oil just to the top and then I'm going to add my essential oil. And for this amount, I'm trying for you to see me as much as well as seeing the jar. For this amount, I'm going to put about 20 drops in this little half cup jar. So you're welcome to adjust. Um, I have eucalyptus, grapefruit and lavender. I know eucalyptus is gonna be a little bit stronger, it's gonna overpower everything, so I'm gonna put a little bit less. I love grapefruit, so I'm gonna put just a tiny bit more proportionally. So if I wanna put 20 drops, I'm gonna put about, uh, let's start with seven drops of eucalyptus. Okay, and then I'm gonna put 
10 drops of grapefruit. And then I'll do three drops of lavender just to round it up. So, come on. Okay, so a salt scrub, you wanna use it in the morning because it's gonna to be too stimulating at night. It might actually interfere with your sleep. Um, it's gonna to move too much stuff in your body, move the lymphatic system too much. And it's gonna be just too stimulating. And especially depending on the oils that you use, it might be definitely too stimulating. So use it in the morning. You're gonna use it on dry skin. You're gonna pop in your shower not wet your skin you're going to use it on dry skin and really really go until your skin is pretty pink you go from the extremities feet and hands towards the center of your body and you can use it on your entire body so i've added the oils why did i put a carrier oil first just so that the oils can get a, can kind of get um, mixed up with the carrier oil and then i'm going to add more carrier oil and I didn't mention that, but I'm gonna use a chopstick just because it's really easy then to kind of mix the sugar or the salt, depending on what you're using with the oil. So after you're in the shower, you scrub, 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 you're all pink, you're gonna rinse with hot water. The hot water is gonna help the oil further, it's gonna rinse off the sugar or the salt, obviously. And then it's going to help the oil penetrate deeper into the tissues. You don't want to soap because you've taken all that time to moisturize through the oil and to help the oil um, nourish the tissues, so you're not, the deep tissues of the body. So you're not going to soap. You're going to soap what needs soaked if you want to. But then you get out of the shower and you just towel dry and your skin is going to be baby soft. So how much oil do I put? in this oh it smells so nice just enough so that it's kind of soupy and it has a little bit of a you want it to be somewhat liquid so <laughs> oh the beauty of working with oil um i can't really show you <laughs> let me do this so you want it to be pretty soupy. It's pretty oily. Okay. How long did that take me? Five minutes? Not even. It smells absolutely divine. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm on my coffee table. This isn't the best place to do this, but it's the place where I have the best light. So that's it. That's done. You got your sugar or salt scrub. You can put that in your shower. If you've never used oil in your shower, you make sure you don't slip because <laughs> it does get oily. So make sure you're mindful of that. And then, so I have oil. I'm going to put oil, about a cup, in this lovely amber jar. So I'm going to fill it up. And for oil pulling, you can use uh, different types of oil. You could use fractionated coconut oil, which is often what is used. You can also use sesame oil. In Ayurveda, we use a lot of sesame oil. I'm using sunflower seed because that's what I have right now on hand. And that's just going to be easy for me. So, again, for this oil pulling mix, I'm going to use spearmint, cinnamon bark, and clove for their beautiful properties to cleanse and to support with bacteria. Again, make sure that these are appropriate for you to use, do your own research. And in this cup um, of oil, I'm going to put about 40 drops of uh, essential oils. I'm going to put 20 drops of spearmint.
Okay. And then I'm gonna put 10 drops of clove and 10 drops of cinnamon. And then I'm going to tell you about oil pooling. Okay. Before I use it, every time I'm going to use it, I'm going to shake it. Um, oil pooling is not a very traditional ancient it's it's not part of the traditional text of ayurveda however it's now become um a practice that has been included in ayurveda in many ways and in other practices and other holistic med medicines um it supports the removal it, it supports healthy gums and the removal of bacteria between teeth and gums oil in general using oil in ayurveda is a way to support vata dosha and to support the tissues and to support healthy tissues of the body. The oil pulling, you're going to put a little bit in your mouth and you're going to want to swish, swish, swish. <laughs> That's hard to say. Swish, swish, swish for be, as long as you can, really. It can be two minutes, it can be five minutes, it can be 10 minutes. You can go around doing th stuff in your house and still be oil pulling. You just want to swish the oil in your mouth for as long as you can. And then you do not swallow the oil, you actually just spit it out in your sink and you make sure you use hot water to rinse your sink and a little bit of soap because it will clog your plumbing otherwise. Um, but that's it, that's really simple. So I have my little oil pulling bottle ready to use and ready to go. And then I have my body scrub that I'm gonna put in the shower. And I do recommend labeling your products because if you start to make a few different products, you may think that you're going to remember, but you might actually forget which one is which. You know, if you have a few of these bottles, one for oiling your body, for example, or doing something else, you might not remember what they are. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, make sure that you hit subscribe so that you get updated with more videos like this. And of course, if you like this video, hit the like button, feel free to comment below and check all the links in the website. I have uh, some links to Banyan Botanicals for the carrier oils and other things that I recommend. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful day, and I will see you soon. Bye everybody.